Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shaniva Early, your craft doctor, and I'm here with a few things that I got from Craft Day. Um, let me back you up some. Oh, uh, yeah. A few things that I got from Craft Day. Um, everything is not in. I'm still waiting for a couple of more things. Um, but I want to show you what I ended up getting. Um, the first thing that I ordered was the Slimline or Mini Slimline card and envelope. Uh, I really haven't done a lot of Slimline things except the Diamond Press ones that we get. And so I wanted to make sure that I had something. Oh, I just broke my nail. Something. I wanted to have some... Um, mini ones because I have Anna Griffin's which is bigger and I have Diamond Press and I have a couple of others but I don't have any minis that I remember and so I wanted to order this and I thought it was cute it's the cutest the little for the quick cards you don't want to fill up a full page or something um and so that's why I grabbed this it has two different cards it has a scalloped square or rectangle and then it has this kind of elegant is what they're calling it elegant one and what caught my eye was the fact that it has the card base in it and i'm going to show you what i'm talking about where you cut out the card base too so this is like a three and a quarter by six so you need a least the way it looks you need a 12 by 12 I don't know why I'm having such a hard time getting, getting this out of here holy moly in the moment good night okay so this is your card base right here it's flat right here so it's not going to cut so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a piece of paper and um, let me grab it out of my little stash of papers here. Okay. And then I'm just going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to put this right on here and that little part will hang off. that is going to just hang off the side so let me tape this down so it can, won't mess up I'll tape this and this right here okay stay there Okay, and we're going to run this through the die cutting machine. I'm sorry, I, I keep my iPad on top of my um, impress so I'm watching videos of, while I'm doing stuff, searching the web, that kind of stuff. And so now you have. your card base mini card base and then if you want to cut out layers you can take the next one and cut out a layer like that let me see if I have some paper over here that I can yeah yeah okay so let me show you what this layer would look like. Let me back you up. Back. Okay. The one thing that I do love about the um, 
crafter's companion machine as soon as you stick it in there it go not with the impress And so, this piece will mat right on there. So, how cute is that? How cute is that? Card and envelope slimline. And this is uh, Little Darlings LDRS. That's what this is from. And then you get the square one. So, I thought that was really, really cute. Um, so that's why I picked that up. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? Because I'm going to use this for something. I already know. So I'm just going to put this right on here. And stick it in here when we're all ready to use it okay so that was the first thing the second thing that i picked up was this diamond press pull tab hidden message box okay um this is this is the pull tab one and you have to have this base mechanism here but you've seen in my last video that i actually printed it off on my cricut machine if you remember you can go to diamond press if you did not see my last video let us do this um I'm going to put my keyboard right here. Y'all can't see what I'm doing yet. Uh, okay. I'm going to go to diamond, mydiamondpress.com. Here. Okay. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my screen. And you go to mydiamondpress.com and you scroll up. Scroll up to downloads. Okay? And then you go to pull tabs. Okay. Are y'all, can y'all see my screen? Oh, yeah, you can Okay, and then go to downloads. And if you upload or open up your downloads folder, that's pull tabs, open it up, and you'll see the SVGs. And I did not um, open it up in my Cricut but if I open up Design Space, it's going to open up in a, a, um, Adobe Illustrator because I didn't open it up in Design Space. Um, I don't know if you can see that Adobe jumping. Anyway, <laughs> once you download it, you can see all the, the envelope flaps and the hidden messages and the interactive wheel. These are all downloads. And if you look at this, these are the pull tabs. These are all the different pull tabs for the treat box, which is what this one is. All I have to do is print this, upload it to my, um, upload it to my, bring you back okay all i have to do is upload it to my cricut software because it's already in svg format and pull it up and and print it and cut it out it's already formatted for you and so this is the treat box one and you've seen it was the treat box one so i just really wanted to show y'all that so you don't get frustrated if you don't have the original one with this this 
you can print this out on mydiamondpress.com. Um, okay, so what is in here? This is the cutest little thing ever. It's a treat box pull up tab. A pull, treat box. Um, and the reason why it's treat box is because it has these little cute treats candies and donuts and cookies and pies oh my you can make with this set and you pull up the top to reveal the treats and the message okay and then it has a whole bunch of stamps that go with them but look how cute these are look how cute the little stamps are in person really really cute i think that'll be better so you can see it Cute treats. Cute, cute, cute. That one. And then this one has more. It has the arrow. It has, I think it's, ha what is this? Oh, Cricket, you slow. Um, Sorry. Oh, y'all probably didn't see that. My Cricket window came up. But this is all to make the treats. And it has words, um, sentiments to my... I don't even smart cookie the sweetest birthday you're the sweetest what I would do what I would do without you that kind of stuff so this is cute okay and then there's some pop dots so you can pop stuff up sentiments and stuff they always give you the pop dots with these sets because this is an auto ship an older auto ship and I didn't get it um, because I don't know why. Oh, I know why. When I originally seen this set, it was an envelope. And I was like, I don't really need an envelope for anything. But I didn't realize it was an auto ship. So I only got this one because um, now because of that. Okay, so that's the treat box. And I have two more of these coming. I think it's like the... Um, sun, hello sunshine one and another one I can't remember they'll be here in a couple of days okay so that's that and then of course it always comes with the folder I have so many of these because I, of course I bought them like I'm gonna need them and they come with every kit the next thing and the last thing that came was the mini um mini album the mini mini album kit and i really wanted to see what this looked like i may not even keep this because what i really wanted more than anything would be the boxes and these things are just templates where you can just make yourself and so for the money i'm not very happy with these templates i hate these things i hate when they do this to us too just give us the die if we're gonna buy it we're gonna buy it if not we're not so anyway and if you go on paper phenomena she you can learn how to make this easily anyway she has this type of stuff maybe not this size but she may have this size because she may scaled it down i don't know so anyway this is the plastic template let me open it and show you what i'm talking about a plastic template I can never open these packages goodness and they do have a full, like, master class, is what they're calling it, to teach you how to make this on Crafters Companion YouTube channel. But see, it's the template. And you have to... You have to um, cut this out and then score. Which, at least this time they put dashes and not just say it score here uh, that's better so this is actually 11 inches long by five and i'd say three fourths scored at about a half so if you took an 11 inch sheet of paper scored it at a half and then scored it at 
I'm thinking six. Because this, let me see. Without the score line, it's ten and a ten and a half. So if you score this at five and a half, you had a box. Let me, let me get my ruler and see. Because I think this is just five and a half. Yeah, no, five and a quarter. I'm sorry. Not five and a half. Five and a quarter. So five and a quarter, five and a quarter. It's ten and a half plus a half. So that's uh 11, like I said. Duh. So in order to make this, you know I'm about to break out a piece of paper. As long as you have the measurements. So this is 11... A sheet of 11, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. This is measuring. What did I just do with the ruler? Oh, put it right back in front of my face. Okay, without the score line, it's five and a half, five and three fourths. So if you cut this paper down to five and three fourths. Score it score it at a half on one side score it at a half on the other side and score it at five and a quarter you have made the half of the box so you're gonna score this score this right here and you're going to cut this piece out cut this little square out at an angle and that's and this is your fold line okay and then right here you're just gonna cut this cut up this here and just give it a little whoosh, like that. And now you got half of a box. That's half your box right there. See that? That's half your box. Which one did I take this out of? Right here. And so... It has other pieces in it, but that's half your box right there. This is the drawer template. This is the drawer casing box unit. This is the back panel of the box. So this probably is the other piece you need. Because that's, that's something rather similar to the box. This is the box top. So something like that. I mean, it, it'll give you instructions on how to make it, but I'm going to leave this with it. But that's how you basically make the box. So, that's this one. And then you have the pieces to make this. This is what got me, was this right here, this ma uh, magazine one. Because I really like that, how that looked. And the three drawer, the drawer one. But this will be one of those sit down at a craft show, uh, craft event and do. Okay. And so then you have the spine for the actual, this is the spine piece. So yeah, this creates the spine and this is the pages I would imagine. And then this is to make decorative edges on each page like that. As you can see, like that. 
this is some decoration this one is to make the flip book you make the flip book so it's different styles of books and this one right here is the tabs now I do like that they include these tabs in here because then you can tab each page or you can tab pages so I do like that this is should be all tabs and so you don't have just one tab you got to flip over like you do on the other set that you have this is a full set of tabs all the way across evenly see it's even I like that I like how they did this it it and then send descending descending or ascending I like this one right here so um this is the mini i wonder how it coordinates with the other set if it coordinates with the other set i'm not sure i'm going to put them up against each other and see how if they coordinate hopefully they coordinate with each other so then you can mix and match each set then it came with these corner um these corner things and you could buy these separately these little corner things Come on, show up. Oh, it must be too small to show up. But these are corner for the corners of your boxes. And this is drawer pulls. This is super cute. This little bitty drawer, drawer, drawer pulls. They super cute. Little drawer pulls. That's cute. Come on, camera. Maybe it'd be better if I took one out. Maybe it'd be easier to see. And you put them on with brads. Come on. There we go. I'm about to say, this camera got the focus somewhere, but that's little drawer pulls. Super cute. So, with these little drawer pulls, there's something telling me that they might be a little bit smaller than that other kit. Because this is the mini. I don't know if that's considered the bigger one or not. I don't know. But I think this is really cute. And you get three of these. Um, and you know you probably can go to the door dial place and get these. Or like office, Home Depot or something. You might be able to get these little drawer pulls from from there um, or something similar to this. Or you can make your own. You can always make your own drawer pulls out of stuff. Like, um, what do you call that? Um, ribbon and, and stuff like that. So, this is the, the Crafter's Companion set, the Hidden Message Treat Box set, uh, pull tab. Um, and my little diamond press mini slim line. So this is what came in today. And so I will do a haul on the other stuff. Um, when I get that in, in a couple of days, um, I can't say I'm gonna work on this soon, but I'm, I think I'll put this out and do a video on this treat box. Um, and I just showed you this, so I'm going to put that in my stash and when I need it, I will make it. All right. And then don't forget, mm, let me reach. Don't forget about this little cutie patootie right here from my last video. Super cute. Use some of those, um, different flowers and make them. So then you're not coloring all day. You just got your flowers to work it out. These are the, all the things that came in today. All right. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next one.